September. Go get it right now, boys, because you guys can actually complete all active tasks during the event to reach level 75 for free. Yep, you get a lot of amazing rewards. You get Flood's Battle Emote and 6 Glory Avatar Border. A lot in store for you and even the Prime skins, of course. You don't want to miss that. And the figurines. Like, you saw it in the panel area. If you have it, just check it later on. But there's a Claude figurine you could also claim for yourself if ever you reach the maximum level. So now we're heading back into Make Em Evolve versus Team Spirit. Another thing I like to bring up Ooh. was how you mentioned the uh, trend of the teams who were put in the blue side, right? Yeah. And right now it's Make Em Evolve who's also on the blue side. Hey man, they have a lot of things against them. Like Spirit, they're on red side, 0% win rate. They're also against the Mirror Curse somehow. So I, I, don't, I don't know, man. It's a tough job for them, especially because right now Aurora is doing a good job at farming and super not well with Marquinhos. We were looking at these picks. We were thinking about, all right, how are they going to set up for the Yi Sun Shin? It's so far been get Pryo in lane, rotate over to give space for Mr. Aurora. Yep, farming has been the focus for the first few minutes of a May Come Evolve. And I'm not entirely sure if you'd want to let them freely do that if you were Team Spirit. At least I'd expect some sort of disruption coming in from their side, especially with the glue in their hands. So I'm assuming that we're bound to see a very chaotic team fight take place later on, but it seems like Mekam Evolve, they're really sticking with that idea. They just want to go for the farming in the early stages of the game, and so they'll just let Team Spirit take the early objectives for themselves. It's the calm before the storm. We're going to have a lot of calmness in the early game. Right. Team Spirit, they have such a massive advantage when it comes to just neutral objectives, right? That's an alpha. They have the glue, the high loss. So, Pryo, for sure. For Mekam Evolve, they got a use in Shin, so it's all really about farming for him. So as long as for Nahuel is able to get some space for Aurora, and as long as Aurora continues to farm this way, yeah. I think my come Evolve were actually pretty happy with the trades. Turtle for farm. Yep. Could this be potentially the game where we find our first blood, the, the like longest? the longest, longest first blood? <laughs> the yeah, longest yeah, yeah. first blood? I, I don't know because we're seeing the uh, tempo being very, very slow and these teams are just being very, very patient. So it's not impossible that they don't really choose Ooh. to go for a team fight, not unless Kid Bomba, you know, Kid Bomba, but make them evolve. They're just really avoidant of all the team fights Whoa. in the early stages of the game. That's a first item Melvic gun for Hiko. Mm -hmm. Marquinhos oh. walking up, Kid Bomba with flicker, slap, slap, pass, pass, finding them back. Session still able to flicker out to safety with the Fishing Glacier to stun Kid Bomba down. But there will not be a full initiation. <laughs> Hiko. We'll get the double wave in the mid lane, shoving it in and getting a few good shots onto the turret. Yeah, so Team Spirit, they have their own ways of also making sure that they get the necessary farm. And you're right, they get the Malefic gun priority here for Hiko, but Yurukotsu really just wants to go for all that sustain and that potential uh, extended or long team fights we might be seeing later on, because as we're seeing it right now, Nothing's really happening just yet between these two teams. So, like, I'm starting to believe this might really be the longest game before we see our first run. I think that's fair, you know? This is the battle of farm so far. I mean, for Mike, I'm evolve it is. For Team Spirit, it's all about just playing their game, too. It's neutral objective control, waiting for the mid-game power spike. And maybe that's why Hiko went for Milfic Gun. He just wants to clear the way faster with more range. Yeah, you can actually be in a safer distance yep. when you actually go for the shots. So, Pryo over the turtle for Team Spirit. He goes already on it. He's the one leashing the turtle. <laughs> one shot will be able to just take it away. They don't even need to go for the retribution. Mm -hmm. But they're not going to be able to use the retribution to invade anyways. My come of all, they've already cleared out the entire top side of the jungle. And I'm wondering what are the trades that are in mind for uh, May Come Evolve? Like, what are their plans heading into the uh, next few minutes of this game? Because they haven't been really getting the trades. They haven't okay. been really contesting these objectives. But this might be the first attempt towards an engage for both sides. Bennett's trade oh. also committed. But then the only priority for May Come Evolve is to defend. And this is the trade that we're probably talking about. This is, this is why he went for the Melvic Gun. It's all about getting the shots outside of turret range. Aurora getting a lot of gold, though, in the bottom lane. That was a trade off. Mm -hmm. Spirit still has the gold lead, so it's not really that massive, but man, the sieging potential on Hiko. He's not no. stopping. No way. Like, could this be a better way to brute force oh. your way in? But Aurora! So, okay, five minutes in. Clock it in. Oh, we get our first blood. <laughs> first blood in five minutes. Clock it in. I don't know if that's the longest first blood in M6. It probably is, right? In M6 so far, but in all time M series, we'll have to check again. Q Spirit doing a good job. They punish Aurora somehow. Yep. I think that was a split split. Oh no, oh, no. Rage Ofession loses the passive instantly. Sawo has her vitalized. Mountain Shocker comes down, but Team Spirit, 
It just tickles them. One shot. Ah, the orange buff was to secure the... Or, no, the mountain shocker secured the orange buff. I think Aurora got it with yeah, the ult. He still got it. He still got it. And Bumpy Mantra, bands, I guess. He didn't use his retribution either way, but... Could this mean that Mekan Evolve, they're just really trying to wait for those potential counter engages that they'll be doing up against Team Spirit? Because I think we slowly have to acknowledge that Team Spirit, they're really trying to play this aggressively. They know that farming is the idea for Mekan Evolve, but as you've mentioned, it seems oh like there's my. just this abuse of the Malefic Gun that's happening right now. This Tier 1 turret might just fall down, but then... Okay, the damage is also there. Forces out there vitalize. Right, we saw the Granger versus Bruno. Now we're seeing Hiko on the Beatrix. Just <laughs> go well. for turrets. That's go for turrets, man, with the Melfic gun. Turtle number three will spawn in the game. 3,000 gold lead in one kill. Yep. That's a, a super fast wave here we're seeing also. And they might just continuously oh. transition from one oh. thing to another. A double snipe landing. Fashion will fall. And Sunset Lover is the one who picks up the kills. He steals away the Frigid Glacier. And all in that time, Spirit was able to get one shot over to the turtle to solo it. Now it's a one level lead for one shot. And we can finally see the gold difference. 1.7k on Hiko. Oh, wait. That's the range advantage. And if Team Spirit just continue with this, they're gradually going to decrease the areas where Makeem Evolve can look for their farm, and that's not going to be a good sign. Definitely not going to be a good sign if that's the entire idea, or if they just really want to hold everything out until the moment they know they're capable of fighting. Because Team Spirit, it seems like they're also very disciplined with whichever kinds of team fights they try to look after in terms of uh, this uh, point of the game. So they seem like they really want to force this mid lane turret. Will they attempt? Oh, okay, that's still the defense from Mekan Evolve. Literally a pure siege. Spirit just, are, they're playing with their catapult. Hiko is the catapult <laughs> to their siege. Everybody else is just posturing up. They're letting Hiko throw those catapults down and slowly but surely tear down the castle of Mekan Evolve. And so far, the king of my come evolve in this metaphor, Aurora. I don't think he's in a at a point of a. Is this a power spike? War axe? I I don't think so. I don't think it's enough just yet to go for fights. Yep, and he's two levels behind of one shot. Yeah. So there's a lot of things to consider for a make them evolve. Clearly, trades might be the way to go for them, but oh, he's they really want this mid lane oh. control. Fashion's already gonna be cut off there. AOG, great usage of the split split, and Bamba just flickers out. Pico, catapult, <laughs> keeps on catapulting. Look at that. A lot of the boulders coming down. Ooh, you got a cut soup. Toned away. And it's all about hitting it right now. Hitting the turret slowly but surely. Hiko, you're going to get it one day. I one, two, three. There uh, you go. I mean, this is, shouldn't be such an easy task for like Team Spirit. I mean, there have been adjustments to turrets recently. They really increased like the turret defense whenever there aren't any enemy minions within range. But then Team Spirit, they just constantly force these objectives. I don't think it's even considered as converting objectives because <laughs> they're just forcing the objectives. They're just sieging it out. Now it's another neutral objective. It's, it's a clean game for Team Spirit. 2-0, full control around the map. One shot might actually live up to his name here. He's three <laughs> levels ahead. He might be able to one shot Aurora by the end of the game. It's oh, it's a crazy lead. And Yuro Kotsu, I don't think he could actually melt down anyone right now, right? He still has to wait for a few more items. Not, not even Berserker's Fury yet. So they're getting suffocated really hard right now, just from the siege potential. Yeah, and they might no longer be able to take hold of these buffs, not unless. Yeah. They really try and help Aurora, but there's the Avatar of the Garden. Sunset Lover got caught there by the son of the Eastern Shin. That's going to be a trade one for one. Marquinho falling super. Now, Will, though, you already used the AOG earlier. Kid Bamba oh. able to zone them away. What was that? Hiko just shot him down with a Bennett. Crazy range. It, it's a sniper at this point. And it feels like it just, it just goes out so fast. Like, all of those bullets from Hiko, he was just <laughs> spamming it onto the necessary targets, onto the onto the turrets, onto the members who are just even slowed down a bit. And I think it works well, right? If Sawo just uses the Glorious Pathway in such a way where it slows down the members oh. of Wake Up Evolve, that's just a lot more easier for Hiko to target them down even using the Bennett. That, that's not usually the the way you see the uh, Beatrix trying to take on the targets. You want the more secure Nibiru or like even super oh close oh range. No, 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 no. You were caught so almost got three shot at Hiko. You should have got Sky Piercer, man. That would have been a kill. That's one stack down. 
two shots got him that low, man. Oh no, this is a 10k oh gold lead. Almost a 10k gold lead. They gotta go in. Hiko pops in a bit of trade. He's a bit too ahead for them to survive. And Sunset Lover's the one who pick up, picks up the kills. Oh, it's just nasty from Team Spirit. Oh, no, just oh. shot. He gets it. Threading the needle. Fesh in. Oh, during this game, Sunset Lover will be punished by Yurokatsu. But the base turret in the bottom lane has fallen a team spirit. They are showing no signs of stopping this ridiculous siege. Oh, all I can say, team spirit, they're oh. really setting records now for the first day of the Swiss stage, taking down two out of three inhibitor turrets in 11 minutes. And still, they have that respect for Megam Evolve. They're not going to force things as much. There's clearly discipline from their side. And they're playing this in a really, really great manner. They're just so clean in terms of execution. The execution has just been clinical from Team Spirit. They have... This is literally a siege. You just starve your opponents to death, man. They can't even walk out their base. Finally, they get to. And by the way, like... <laughs> thank goodness they do, Aurora. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's the glitter's pathway to slow him down. Oh, it's the Fear of Alpha. It's not a one-shot, but... Hey! It, it's Aurora down. That's a win for them. Three seconds for the Lord, too. I don't know if Team Spirit even want to go for the Lord. They might just go for the end. Oh, and that was the only time that they tried to go out for a bit, and it was not a great sight for them. Out of the Guardian knocks a one! AOG 2 is demise. Now in the back line, Sawa just zoning them around. It's the Infernal Pursuit, but Hiko loves the Infernal oh. Pursuit. That's the Bennett to deal with it. Look at the range. Yurokatsu zone, Fashion zone. Yurokatsu gets a kill, the horse is down. But can they keep this up? Fashion. Does he have it? Now he goes walking up. He does have the win of nature. The Spear of Alpha comes down and Fashion just gets deleted. Aurora will be next. One shot is doing it in the back line. Zoning the two marksmen away. And look at Hiko. He's just going for the have damage way, onto the base without the minions even. And then it's Rage will be able to capture Okatsu. He walks into it. A quick game for Team Spirit as they just suffocated Mike Come Evolve. Ended the game in less than 13 minutes and set records for this day. It seems like Team Spirit really came into the series well prepared. And they're gonna celebrate that victory. They're gonna switch things up a bit for the first day of the Swiss stage. Finally, we get a red side victory. <laughs> Finally, we get a, what, a favorite victory? It's all been about the underdogs. But Team Spirit from EECA, they've been, they got it done. It was up against two Auroras, technically, you know? Yeah. Like the double Aurora setup. Aurora the hero, Aurora the <laughs> player with the Yis and Shin. Yeah, we're I yet. thought it could work. I thought the volatility could work. You know, it could maybe curveball their way to a win. Unfortunately, Spirit were so calm, we're so composed.